getting started with the WorkStreams.ai app on Slack. The WorkStreams.ai app works right where you communicate on Slack, letting you and your team set priorities, collaborate, and get things done more efficiently than ever before. Here's how to get started. First, if you haven't done so already, go to WorkStreams.ai and hit that Add to Slack button. Then, choose which Slack workspace you want WorkStreams.ai to connect with. Type the slash command, invite work streams into any Slack channel and then press enter. Now, you can easily create a task by typing in slash plan, followed by the name of the task. Hit enter, and that task is instantly created for the whole channel to see. Next, assign this task to the right person in the channel. To show your team that the task is being worked on, you can set its status to in progress just by using the dropdown. To keep everything as transparent as possible, you can also give this task a description and a label too. Labeling helps a lot as you create more tasks for different projects. Every task also gets its own Slack thread where you can upload important files and discuss requirements. If you see an attachment in your Slack channel that relates to a task, go ahead and add it or just upload it directly to the task next time. If you ever aren't sure about something, you can also always type in WorkStreams help to get a full list of slash commands and other options. By now, you'd probably like to get an overview of task progress for this channel. To see all of a channel's tasks at once, go to this channel's task board by clicking on the task's title or by clicking the button Show on Task Board. Like before, you can create and edit tasks, change their status, and assign team members to them. You can also change a task's status on the board by dragging its ticket from column to column. Last of all, we want to invite you to give us your feedback. If you have something important to tell us, we'd love to hear from you. The more we know, the more we can improve. You can talk to us right on your task board simply by clicking the Feedback button. And that's it. Now you know how to get started with WorkStreams.ai on Slack. To dive deeper into our other features, you'll find loads of helpful resources and fun gifts on our support page. Or feel free to check out more of our videos.